funny, and today I'm going to do the I heart fall tag. I have been requested a lot lately to do one of the fall tags. I know that there's probably a couple different ones swimming around, so if this one sucks, and if this one isn't the one I should be doing, then maybe I'll do the other one. But I looked this one up and it seemed to have some fun questions. I don't know if I was tagged or not, but we'll just pretend that I was. <coughs> me, 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 me. First question is favorite lip product for the fall, and really I wear this at all times of the year because, well, I do whatever I want. But I suppose that it is most suitable for fall, and sometimes I wear this alone, sometimes I layer and wear this with something else, which is how it was intended to be, but it is a lip pencil from MAC in Night Moth, and I talk about this all the time. It's one of their staple colors, so you can get it anytime you want. It is a lovely, really, really deep burgundy color. It almost looks kind of brown in certain lights, but it really is like a burgundy-ish kind of color. Question number two is favorite fall nail polish, and I think I actually discovered a new favorite, and it goes quite well with Night Moth, might I add. I have it on my nails right now, and it's Deborah Lippman's Dark Side of the Moon. I also love the name because I'm a fan of the Pink Floyd album by the same name. So it almost looks black, and I love wearing black nail polish in the fall and the winter, but I feel like this is kind of like the best thing of both worlds because it gives you a little bit of that kind of like burgundy undertone if you want to go with that instead of black. I don't know why that would be better than black. I don't know why I just said best of both worlds. That doesn't make any sense. It's a pretty color. Try it. Question number three is favorite fall Starbucks drink, and I feel like this is everyone's universal favorite fall Starbucks drink. I don't know. If your answer differs with this, let me know down below, but I love the pumpkin spice latte. I really rarely drink anything from Starbucks until fall and winter, but when they start with the pumpkin spice latte, I love it. And I get it made with skim milk, and I still have the whipped cream put on top of it, but it's just so delicious, and I feel like I'm drinking jack-o'-lanterns and I'm just like oh you taste so good. I wish I had one right now but I don't. Sometimes I drink so many of them in one day that I end up feeling like really really wired and I don't recommend that. Um, I recommend getting a tall because they have like how many espresso shots in them? One, two, five. The next question is favorite fall candle and I have to admit, I'm not really that big of a fan of candles, but I have a lot of really fragile, strange antiques in my house, and when you have hundred-year-old paper flower arrangements, like, putting fire around that isn't really, like, my favorite thing to do. So my favorite fall scented things are these Ponderosa pine cones. And I don't know if these are available everywhere, but I always get mine from Joann's, which is just a craft store here in Texas. But they're scented pine cones and they smell amazing. They literally have like kind of a spicy quality to them, but it's not really overpowering, like a lot of um, cinnamony type spice smelling things are. They just have a really natural, interesting, fall, slightly spicy smell. And they come in a bag like this, and this is just, I just have a few left in the bag, because what I love to do with them is put them in windowsills, and then when the sun shines through the window, it heats up the pine cones and kind of makes the smell permeate a little bit more throughout my house. So I don't know, I just, I kind of like these kind of like natural looking kind of things and I think it's really pretty and they smell really good and I like that as an alternative to lighting things on fire in my house. I don't feel like anybody should ever give me like a lighter or a match. I just feel like that's a dangerous combination. Question number five is a favorite fall scarf or accessory and I'm wearing it right now. I love this scarf so much. I got it last year and it just kind of tends to tie a lot of my looks together, whether I'm going for kind of like 
a soft grunge look like we say on Tumblr or uh, or if I'm trying to go for even a new goth look sometimes I can make that work or especially with my vagabond kind of bohemian fashion that I'm into lately looks like a Johnny Depp scarf doesn't it and it's really really long this is Ralph Lauren denim and supply which is one of my favorite brands to wear ever of all time but you can wear it kind of as a shawl because it's really Really big enough to do that or you can wear it as a traditional scarf it almost looks like an infinity scarf if you wrap it around a couple times because it's really kind of I don't know it's kind of thick like that you can make it work next question is haunted house haunted hayride or haunted corn maze and I don't even think we have haunted corn mazes here in Texas I don't think that we even have corn here I don't think I've ever seen corn in my life in this state except for like corn on the cob or like canned corn creamed corn corn that you heat up in the microwave microwavable corn uh no I've never seen a haunted corn maze but that sure does sound like fun we don't even have haunted hay rides around here either this is just it totally sucks when I was a kid they used to do this really cool thing in one of the local parks where they did a sleepy hollow theme and that was kind of cool but they just kind of like loaded people up on the back of uh flatbed trucks because that's how we do it on the swamp they didn't like make it all fancy with hay and stuff like that so I guess I would have to go with haunted house and I once worked in a haunted house not last year but year before that and it was kind of fun I had fun scaring people so I would have to say haunted house but I generally don't go to haunted houses because they just don't scare me I don't know um, I'm creepy enough question number seven is a favorite Halloween movie and I have a lot but I have to go with a Vincent Price movie because I love Vincent Price so much seriously if I could bring anybody back to life and then creepily marry them perhaps against their own will I would pick Vincent Price he is so hot and creepy it's just perfect Vincent Price oh my god can we make him a character in awkward Broadway please can he be like the hero I don't know let's do that if I had to narrow it down to my favorite Vincent Price movie for Halloween I would have to say House on Haunted Hill because that movie is just wonderful for carving pumpkins by that was always my Halloween tradition for years was carving pumpkins to House on Haunted Hill it's kind of funny and it's kind of goofy and there's a great like levitating skeleton at the end it's a William Castle movie and if you like old vintage -y kind of horror movies you probably know that any William Castle movie is just a plus quality eight is favorite candy to eat on Halloween and my favorite candy to eat on Halloween or any other time is oh Henry and it's actually impossible for me to get this candy bar at any other time of the year except for Halloween with the little um Halloween miniatures you have to buy like that big gigantic bag and I absolutely refuse to give away any of the oh Henry miniatures because they're like gold to me I got this giant bar from cat sketch she sends them to me now because she's such a sweet friend and quite apparently they sell them in California so if you live in other places you can quite apparently get oh Henry bars and the ingredients sound really disgusting crunchy peanuts chewy fudge creamy caramel covered in a chocolatey coating that just sounds like taste overload but I swear if you see this try it you will not regret it it is so delicious literally every year I'm like watching celebrity ghost stories on the bio channel and like eating all the candy that is oh Henry bars that's my Halloween tradition what's yours nine is what are you dressing up for as Halloween that came out wrong what are you dressing up for on Halloween and I am so excited I'm actually gonna end up doing a couple different costumes this year but my main costume is sitting behind me this is the one that I'm going to be wearing on Halloween and I've literally waited for all of my lifetime to do this costume 
like A plus quality because I love Marie Antoinette. So this is going to be my year that I dress up like Marie Antoinette. And I'm actually going to make an entire video devoted to this costume, but I will just give you guys a sneak peek because it's so wonderful. This is my gorgeous Marie Antoinette costume that I got from In Character Costumes, and I will link you to it down below, but I'm going to make an entire video about it in probably, you know, the next couple days. The last question is, what is my favorite thing about fall? And uh, that's pretty much obviously Halloween you know, uh, all the Halloween stuff and making the treat bags for the trick-or-treaters. I also just love the feel of fall. You know, it's not like roasting hot outside anymore like it always is in Texas where you get temperatures of over 100 degrees, but it's not like too cold to function either. It just feels nice. You know, you got leaves tumbling in the street and you can like invite all your friends over for pizza and tell them creepy stories and you know, they got all the good shows on television about people and ghosts. I don't know. It's just, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I wish fall was like year round. I wish I could just like live in Halloween town. I would live in Halloween town if I could. They have skeleton taxi drivers there. Who wouldn't live in Halloween town? I ask you. So that is it. That is the I Heart Fall tag. So I'm just gonna take a minute to tag a few people. I tag A Rose 186. I'm also going to tag Cat Sketch, even though she's not a beauty vlogger, but sometimes she makes these kinds of videos on her second channel. She's my best friend. I'm also going to tag Leanne Says. I always do. Uh, Hi, Leanne. And I'm going to also tag Cory or Hells for Children because. I always tag her too. If you guys want to do this tag, any of you, feel free to do it. Those were just some names off of the top of my head. I love all you guys, and if you want to take a minute to subscribe, I would be thoroughly grateful. Uh, so hit the button up there, wherever, wherever the button may be. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, at graveyardgirl, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.